welcome to my garden. Back to basics today. After the warm-up, standing meditation, silk reeling, and the five form. We're going to have a look at the stepping. Just improve our understanding of what we do when we step forward and back. And warming up the body, getting it ready to work. Massaging the knees and the ankles. And coming up slowly and rolling the shoulders. Hands on the hips. Rotating. And back the other way. Remember Tai Chi, it's all about circles. Never ending spirals. Shifting weight and point and flex. So we keep these principles in mind, side to side. When we're doing Qigong exercises, Shabasha, standing meditation. Probably the most important principle is to breathe and relax. sinking the chest, being mindful to our stance, breathing in, sides of the feet firmly on the floor more than the rest of the foot, only subtly changed. As we breathe out, we sink that energy to the lower dantian, pressing the feet into the floor. And one more. Holding the ball. Open and As we breathe in, the abdomen expands. The chest relaxes, pressing on the diaphragm. Relax the chest. So as we breathe in, the diaphragm is pressed expanding the abdomen. The elbow is being pulled apart and yet everything is soft. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. And the elbows are soft. There is movement in the transitions. As we sink, the elbows come in slightly.
standing meditation, mindfulness, being in the moment, releasing any tension, any other thoughts, emptying the mind. Breathing in and out. Last one. To the center, down. Palms up and open. And push. Take a deep breath in. And out. We're gathering the energy, gathering that positive life force and pushing out the negative and stress. And last one. And Silk reeling. The step can be a little bit wider than hip width apart. We'll start with the turning first. Chest turns. We shift weight back as we still face 45 degrees and turn. Here we're opening the quad so the knees aren't caving in. Here we're making the infinity sign with our hips. Again, spiraling circles. said in our postures we take out the sharp bits the other arm does exactly the same thing but at a different time so watching the path of the hand up Press palm down, and palm is pushing. Yeah. And one more. Other side. If our right arm is up, we turn to the right. Palm presses down, and there needs to be that slight body movement here. Because if you look closely, you'll see that the arm isn't doing much at all. The forearm is rotating, hands rotating. And one more. We'll put the two together and with our silk reeling movement as well. It doesn't matter which side we start with, we can start either right or left. Today we'll start with the left. We turn, shift weight, shift weight back and turn. Shift weight. We do the turn before we shift weight. Turn before we shift weight, but 
When you're looking, it looks as if it's all happening together. And last one. Five form. Five forms stepping is yang style stepping, which is why the five form is a really good form to start learning Tai Chi. Hands behind the back. I'm in mirror image. Left foot steps forward, directly forward. And here we know the three harmonies, shoulder, hip, knee, elbow, ankle. Everything will be in alignment as opposed to this. The hips therefore are straight and the shoulders are as well. So we're not looking like this. To move forward, we need to move back first. And to do that, this is part of our silk reeling. We open the quad, shift weight to the back, and the body has to turn. We lift the toe, pivot the body on the heel, Step up and forward. At this stage, we're still facing 45 degrees. When we shift weight and turn, we look forward. And again, good posture, good alignment. We shift weight back, and as we shift weight, we open that back quad so that the knee is aligned with the back foot. We lift the foot, the whole body pivots, turns, whole foot down, step in, and forward. Our forward stance is called a bow stance. 70% of weight on the front leg. This back leg is off lock, so it's not straight off lock and everything sinks. When we do our postures, we're not leaning forward like this. Nicely upright. This knee doesn't come further forward than the foot. That's not good for the knee. The arms with that stepping After we've done our commencement for our five form, left steps forward, we hold the ball and part wild horse's mane. This arm far enough away. The fingers are in the same line as that front knee. It's warding off to the side. In martial application, this blocks this strikes. This is a splitting energy. Our opponent comes down, then we strike and he goes back. If you can visualize what we're doing, it really does help. Whole foot down and part wild horses move. Shift weight back. These arms stay where they are. Whole foot down, as we step in, we hold the ball, plant that foot and push your opponent's fist down. That's unstable for him now, he's off balance and then we split. While we remain stable and upright, brush knee. 
left steps forward. Finish in that same alignment. So we're not here, we're not out here, here. Everything's in alignment with that back leg. Shift weight back. Remember that slight turn. Arms are parallel. As we straighten that right leg, the arms start to prepare. Martial application. This is blocking. That's striking. So that can be thought of as a push. Retreat step. We do that in the five form after we've finished our cloud hands. And feet are facing forward. We shift, one, shift weight to the right. Pick up the left foot, not too high. It might look as if it's actually dragging along the floor. Now, as we put that foot down, it naturally goes into a 45 degree angle. We shift weight, we pick up the foot, toe is slightly pointing down. And as we shift weight back, as the hips turn, we adjust that back foot. Pick up the foot, nice and low to the floor. Shift weight and pivot on the ball of that foot. We'll go through the, the entire five form with the arms and the legs, just the one side. Hold the ball to the right side and left. Part wild horse's mane. You can adjust that front, that back foot. Shift weight back. Part wild horse's mane. Shift weight back. Arms are parallel for brush knee. Shift weight back, arms are parallel, brush knee. Little shift of weight, cloud hands. Now my feet, you can't see them unfortunately, they are facing forward and they're not together. There's a little bit of space between them. Cloud hands is ward off energy. When we get to the centre here, left arm comes up and down. Left arm comes up again, we prepare to step back. You probably don't need to adjust that right leg in that first step. We need to adjust that one. And as the arms change, that's when we turn. We slice up circle, cross the wrists, and down, and step in. The five form is a really lovely form to practice all of those postures and the opening and the stepping, the stepping back, the coordination, cloud hands. We'll do both sides this time.
Now, an advanced move here, we can shift to the left and pivot on the right and hold the ball. That prepares that right foot then for the 45 degrees. Don't forget also, we tilt the pelvis. Part while horses move. We shift weight back. Arms are parallel and brush knee. Shift weight back. Arms are parallel. Remember, hold foot down first, then we shift weight and turn. Little rock back first. Feet are now parallel and they remain a little bit apart. So they're not, we're not stepping in. So the feet are touching. That's to remain balanced. We go back. When we get to the center, left arm up down, left arm up, right to the side, we step back, push, we're again pulling our opponent in and striking, the other side, we draw in the right side and hold the ball to the left. Part while horses may. Shift weight back, hold the ball, and part while horses may. Shift weight, arms are parallel for our first brush knee. Remember, we're on the opposite side to what we started. A little rock back. Fingers are soft, elbows are soft. Just one step each side and then we go back. Shoulders relaxed, chest relaxed. And one more. When we get to the center, right arm comes up and down. The right arm comes up again, the right leg back for our repulse monkey. Adjusting that front foot one more. This time we finish, we slice up, circle out, down, cross the wrists, separate and down. And stepping in. We'll do that one more time. I'll be in participant image. So Pivot on the right heel. Our first part while horse is main to the left. Then to the right. Elbows are soft. Brush knee. Arms are parallel, but elbows are soft. And brush knee. A little walk back. The step up is not counted as a step. So this is the first step in and out. Then we go back the same way. Step in. Remember not too close and out. 
to the center, left arm up and down. Repulse monkey. Step back with the left and the right. Don't forget to adjust that front foot as the hands change. The transition, bring the right side in, left is on top, part wild horse's mane. Shift weight back. Part wild horse's mane. Brush knee. And brush knee. A little rock back. Right arm is up. So we turn to the right. Step in. And step out. We go back. We step in. And out. When we get to the centre, right arm up and down. Right arm up, right leg back. Breathing in and out. One more, breathing in and out. Slicing up, circle around, cross the wrist. Separate and down. And that's the thigh form. As you can see, there's a lot in that and it's a really good one to practice. It does take up quite a bit of space, but that's, uh, I think that's really good anyway because then you are practicing your stepping, which is the basis of all our Tai Chi moves. We'll finish with the Lotus. The Emperor rises in the morning and looks out over the lake. He sees the turtle swimming. And on the shores of the lake, a snow rabbit digs in the snow. Their maiden scoops the water and sprinkles it on the lotus bowls. Lotus buds begin to form and to bloom. The wind blows the flowers to the east and to the west. The flowers lift their heads to the sun and scatter their seeds to the earth. On the shores of the lake, a white crane spreads its wings to dry, first one and then the other. The year has come full circle and the snow rabbit digs in the snow once again. The emperor looks out over the lake and sees his world is at peace. Thank you very much everyone. I hope you enjoyed that session of In My Garden. We'll see you again soon.